Swag Memorial Trot. Going for a purse of $28,400. Number one is Lucita on the Robert, Robert Rosenheim Stables and M.A. Owida. Michael Stevenson drives. Number two, C.R. Jenny N.E. Dots. On by Rod Allen and Ed Mullinex. Rod Allen, the Rainsman. Number three is Southwind Redbud. On by the Southwind Farm, David Miller aboard. Number four is Miss Katie D. On by Kirkland Standardbreds and Ken Jacobs, Frank Coppola Jr. and the Sulky. Number five is Miss Madeline Rose. On by Mr. Oaks and Kenyon. John Campbell is the pilot. Number six, American Legs. On by Mr. Altmeyer and Glessman. Jim Matinas in the bike. Number seven is No Inhibitions. Owned by Mr. Ginther, Ginther and the Summer Chance Stables. Jim McKnight aboard. Number eight is Wolf's Matina. Owned by Leo Wolf and Son. Jeff Gregory in the Sulky. And number nine is Fashionable Live. Owned by the W Springtime Stable. John Stark Jr. is the pilot. Post time for the fifth race. Starter calls for the fifth race field, the Trotters. This gate is now in motion. Here come the Trotters. They're moving up. They're moving out. Rough Gator before the start was no inhibitions. The rest of the pack charges down the straightaway from the extreme outside is American Legs, who will grab control early on. Following suit is Miss Madison Rose on the outside as they bend into the first turn. Getting away third is Lucida. Between horses fourth, it is CR Jenny Any Dots on the outside, fifth, now fourth. Here comes Miss Katie D looking to make a move. The betting choice gets away six that is fashionable live, two back to Southwind Redbud, out of eight that's going to be Wolf's Matina, and your trailer back on gate is no inhibitions. They pass the quarter 28 and 3. Down the back side, Miss Madison Rose, half a length better than CR Jenny, and he dots on the outside, and Rainsman Rod Allen goes to work with CR Jenny, and he dots right to the front of the pack. Gaining on the outside, first over is Fashionable Lift now, and the betting choice is going to make a move to the top spot as they approach the halfway fraction. Gap it two to fourth and American Legs with cover outside, fifth that is Miss KDD. Inside sixth is Lucida, two back to Southwind Redbud and Wolf's Matina, halftime 56 and three. On the outside now clearing is Fashionable Live and John Stark Jr., a length better than CR Jenny and Dots, gap of one to Miss Madison Rose and John Campbell, who now comes to the outside and gives chase as they approach three-quarter time. Two back to American Legs at the rail. On the extreme outside, now fifth is Wolf's Matina, and Jeff Gregory wants a piece as well. Three-quarter clocking, 125 and two-fifths. The round of the turn as they drive for the wire. No changes up on top. Fashionable Live shows the way to the winner's circle. On the outside, Miss Madison Rose. Here comes Wolf's Matina, and here comes Southwind Redbud on the extreme outside. Miss Madison Rose, Southwind Redbud, gonna get it on the outside. The photo for place between Fashionable Live and Miss Madison Rose. Now in the winner's circle, the unofficial winner of the fifth race, number three, Southwind Redbud. I'm at the Southwind Farm of Pennington, New Jersey. Trained by Jimmy Tacker, driven today by David Miller. Time of the mile, 155 and three is a brand new lifetime mark for the three-year-old daughter of Super Bowl, number three, Southwind Redbud. In the winner's circle, making a presentation, Mr. Don Hoover. 
who was the race secretary and simulcast director here at the Syracuse Mile doing a great job 